everybody on YouTube, it's your boy, the Memphis X. All right, welcoming you back to the 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh, where every day for 100 days, we're dueling with a different deck every single day. Today, everybody, is day seven. The first week concludes on the 100 Days, and we're taking a look at Purely Invoked. Not purely the archetype, it's a pure Invoked deck. We're as close as we can get to Pure Invoked, considering they have one main deck monster. We got ourselves the Invoked. We're going to be invoking some madness with our Alistair boy. Fusion summoning our Mechabas and our army of fusion monsters. And it's a nice casual sort of deck. It's got the power of Mechaba and it's Omni Negate and a few nice beat picks. It's not terribly quick or anything. It's just a feel-good thing. Take a look at the archetype before, you know, before it got all um, twisted with other things. So, we got ourselves this deck, thanks to Mr. Proto Curity, who wanted us to take a look at the Invoked back in the olden good days. And so, we got our deck. If you want the list, it's down in the description, as always. So, we're going to go into EDO Pro now. We're going to check out this deck, show off the wombos, the combos, the do's, and the not do's, and have ourselves a good old time. And, of course, remember, 100 Days is still open. If y'all have any deck suggestions, they are available. Check out the comments, you know, leave your ideas. They're all there. So, I'm talking. Let's get right into the action and see what this baby can do. Alrighty, our first opponent. Another day, another card game. We like to go first with this deck whenever possible. Very much a thing. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Alright, so with our opening hand, not a bad opening hand, we got ourselves our magical meltdown. Always a nice thing to start off with because it protects our. It searches Alistair first off. Second off, it'll prevent us from losing our fusions. Been a while, Lord. Friend. Indeed, it has been a while since Alistar has really done much. But you know what? He still works. And we could just do the Al Artemis thing, but I, I really am a fan of the uh, Al Mirage loop for my invoked. It just helps set up things for later. That's really good, in my opinion. So. Before we do anything else, I am going to Spellbook of the Secrets. I don't have my normal summon right now. Let's see. Spellcast. Yeah, I'm going to get a blue boy for later. A little bit of a draw engine. Need a draw engine to draw out the thing. So we're going to invoke. Invoke. And we're going to start off with our boy, good old fashioned Mechaba. It's our Omni Negation. As long as I discard a card of the same type. So I have a spell, I have a monster, I have other things. We're pretty solid. For, 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 for your invoke, this is where we want to start off. Just go for a nice little Mechaba. Summon a Mechaba to the board. Be like, hey, you get you get to use your effects until I say no. I will negate you, and you'll be banished. Not destroyed, but you'll be banished. Banished to the yard of no whatevers. Uh, let's see. What does this dude do again? Uh, controls more monsters. You target upon monster. Upon controls, destroy it. I only have the one monster, so Guan Yun does not affect too much. Not too much. Should be good in that respect. Ancient Warriors, they, they can do some stuff. They can certainly swarm very, very well. Gotta be careful about that. Very careful about that. Unfortunately, sir, I'm gonna have to say no. No pot. This is a pot free zone, sir. No massive draws, unless you're playing Blue Boy. Alright, so the big question is, what else does he have in the head? He has a special summon. Still has a normal summon. Lots of normal summons in the Ancient Warriors. More worried about, like, Lu Bu. Little worried about Lu Bu. I don't remember exactly how his effect works. I know that if he's smaller than me, I get him in the end phase. Which people do forget. Uh, okay, Ancient Warriors, Virtuous Liu Yuan. Let's see. Oh, and the Link. Alright, the Link indeed. What does this do? Add an Ancient Warriors card. I don't think I want you to do that. I mean, he will bounce my mech above, but I can just bring back up a back. So it's not a big deal. That will be the case, and he's losing more cards doing this. So, I think this will work. Now he only has two cards in his hand. Eh, 
Okay. Triple tactical talents. Look at my hand. Ah, uh, there's nothing you can hit in my hand that'll worry me too much. I'm like a monster born to bring back Alistair if I need to. It's really not going to affect me too much, brother. Probably he's going to hit Alistair, though. Okay, never mind. Going to hit the monster born. Interesting. I guess that works, too. I mean, I, like I said, this is invoked. I can just normal summon Alistair again. That's kind of my thing. Well, yeah, the triple tactics, that, that worried me for a split second, not going to lie. Not going to lie. It was, a, it was a little worrisome. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and make Mechaba again. I could make other things, but I, I need to have things set up first. Need to have them set up. Let's get other Mecha, but where's other Mecha? But let's get him off his horse. Get my boy off of his high thing. I could drive with triple. Pot was negated. Oh, no. That is funny. I can't believe... Yeah, you forgot about Pot being... Well, even if Pot's negated, you still can't draw. That's the thing about it. So, unfortunate for my opponent that he forgot about that effect. It was still good that he sniped my hand, but he really should have hit Alistair. Really should have thought about that one, but it is what it is. And now we'll see what my opponent can do. I've got two monster get negates against a monster heavy deck. Uh, normal special summon an ancient Wawaya. That is an ancient Wawaya. And an ancient Wawaya. Okay. Let's see, what's this one do again? Send a card from hand to field of the grave. Add an ancient warrior monster from deck to the hand. Oh, all control levels are higher. Because now what he can do is... Yeah, because of his spell effect, he can summon out the dude he just added. What did he add? I don't actually remember what this is. This is Savage Dong. Uh, let's see, add things, no. This is kind of a thing with invoke. We don't we, we don't allow our opponent to do things. It's it's not a very nice way to play sometimes, but sometimes that's what you gotta do. I mean, it's not like I have access to like twenty omni negates. GG's. Well, okay. Unfortunate my opponent surrendered, but the absolute lockdown we were able to deuce on this dude is a bit too much. So it, this is what Invoked is about. We're trying to summon out our Mechaba and other things. Stop our opponent from doing stuff. Do with the beatdown. Uh, there was stuff my opponent was doing. He was able to at least continue on. But unfortunately, his own pot got in the way. His own pot got in the way. And he really should have hit Mech, uh, Alistair. But other than that, good showing on the Invoked Pure. Let's go for Duel 2. Try to summon some of the other fusions. Because we really focused on Mechaba, and while he is the main boy, I want to summon some other guys. Alrighty, second opponent. Let's go and do it again. But with more fusions, because one Mechaba, two Mechaba. Where, where's, like, Purgatrio? I like that guy. Purgatrio's cool. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have much of a hand this time. This, this does happen with Invoke, just because, you know, you, you have three Invoked Alistairs, and... Not much else. The, the main deck of Invoked is very scarce. But we'll start off with a couple cards. We'll see where this goes. I mean, one Alistair is all we need to get started. That's the good thing about the Invoked. You only need the one boy. Matter is, what do you do after that? What are we up against? Trap Tricks. Hmm. Tricks are for kids, though. Oh, well, that means my Imperm is literally useless, though. Although the Nibiru is looking... Very nice, I have to say. Little thing, Trap Tricks, amazing deck. They can do so much cool stuff. Love playing them on Master Duel and the like. They are very swarmy, and so the rock will actually be helpful. Problem is, if I play any traps, then it, the Sarah goes off and does stuff. So one, two. Okay, that's four summons. And there's four of those. Loved Fenrir, but now Fenrir is in trouble. That's a problem, isn't it? All right, Pina Colada. Let's let's just say no to the rest, shall we? Let's just say no. I'm just gonna say no. Here's a rock. Hope you enjoy your rock. Your rock's pretty big, but my rock's bigger. And I've never heard of no trap trick player playing no battle traps. I'll tell y'all what. 
All right, let's go ahead for Magical Meltdown. Think about getting us some stuff. What do you got? Ash Blossom? Potentially. Daddy, potentially. Good old hat. The Trap Tricks never gave it up. They like to play them hand traps of theirs. Let's see. Poker. But, uh... Normal summon. At least get invocation. Probably he's gonna floodgate me here, but we'll see how it goes. Yep. Yep, indeed. That's gonna... Well, I can summon somebody. Let's see. Banish monsters from the field. Or... Oh, yeah, it's, it still banishes because it's on the field. This is a good thing. Let's go ahead and invoke. I've got an earth monster in the grave. Therefore, we're pretty solid. I could also summon somebody else, but I do want to summon other monsters. So from the monster zone, and I, I haven't even gotten a chance to mention this about invocation. I can use my opponent stuff in their graveyard. Oh, uh, what do I want to? What would I want to banish though? Hmm. Does it really matter? I guess the Anaya, just because if he revives it, it can do stuff. That's my actual reasoning. Is that, you know, Sarah doesn't really matter because he's not going to bring it back. He has extra copies. Same with Pina Colada. So I would say that Alistair is the best choice here. So let's go ahead and get this guy between a rock and another rock. Usually it's a rock in a hard place. No, today it's a rock in a rock. And I mean a bass rock. Might even be a cinder block. All right. Could have been better. There we go. All right. It's a decent enough start. I've got my Alistair back. He has saved himself from the floodgate trap hole. Don't ask how Alistair got out of that hole. But, but he did it. He did it indeed. What are you going to bring back? Bringing back Pina Colada. Okay. Interesting choice. An interesting choice to be certain. I mean, you need the monster back. I suppose. Probably going to link this off into a Sarah or something. Okay, what is it? Okay. Interesting. So, searching a Therian card. Hmm, I'll say no to that. I don't trust you. I'm gonna try and get, like, the field spell and get Regulix in play. I'd rather you not do that. But we should be pretty set. I mean, I've already special summoned. Uh, unless this is another... Oh. Okay, that's tricky. That Parallel Exceed this whole time. I was thinking, that's another pretty good option. Parallel Exceed. Level 4s make a rank 4. Which rank 4 is... Baitable? Plus I have another Nibiru, so I'm like good in that department. I'm pretty set, if you think about it. I have many rocks. I have many rocks and my opponent... Yeah, this trap doesn't really affect me too much. Because I can, I can play around this. This I'm more worried about because I just don't know what it is. Bagusk. I say the rock. And it's a bigger rock. An even bigger rock. It's a much significantly better, bigger rock. And... Actually, now that I think about it, and actually put some thinking into it... Oh, wait, this goes away. I was about to say, how am I going to get around that? If I'm going to make a goatees? Uh, answer is, I don't. I'm just going to wait for it to go away. Okay, that'll work. That works just fine with me. Alrighty, let's invoke our Alistair and get rid of this token. That token is a no-go zone. We need to get rid of it, so I need my boy Agodes. Uh, Alistair and a fusion. That will work. Let's go ahead and invoke our rights. And make a Godis. Monster zone. Thank Magdalania. You were a big trooper. Full summon our Agodis, and when he special summoned or opponent special summoned something, I can pop a monster. This is very useful. And then do the same thing, and my opponent surrenders. All right. That was.
was an interesting matchup. I gotta say, The Rock was very useful. The Biru is an honorary invoked monster now because he saved our butts hard. We he saved us from Baguska. He saved us from setup with Sarah and all that. If I didn't have Baguska, or if I didn't have the Biru, that would have been nightmarish getting around that. A fully set up Trap Tricks deck where you don't have a lot of spell trap removal can be beastly. But we were able to out it thanks to the power of The Rock. So. Good for duel number two. Let's go ahead for one more duel today. And I'd like to summon Elysium if we can, but for the most part, it's really just going to be summon Mechaba, summon Agotis, other fusion monsters of the like. Let's go for one more. Alrighty, our third opponent, the fighting third as we call it. And I'm happy with how the deck's doing so far. Now, we, we haven't seen as many of the fusions as I'd like to see, but hopefully with this final duel... We'll see a fusion, because we do have super polymerization. Indeed. We'll get a fusion on the board one way or another. <laughs> Sometimes this thing happen with this deck. Sometimes you'll get a hand like this. If only there was Alistair 2.0. Then then it would happen less. But right now, uh, Unge? Yeah, okay, that could be fine, I guess. We'll, we'll see what sort of board he makes before we do anything, because I have, I have options here. I got Super Poly, but I also have Nibiru. So it's like, I either Nibiru my opponent, and then, you know, I attribute all of his stuff, and then he's got nothing. Or I wait, let him make a board, Super Poly the board, to make a Starring Venom Dragon or some such. Alright, well, that, that explains that much. Um, huh. Well, unfortunate that I did not draw into a monster that would be helpful. I'm going to set a few cards and end my turn then. We'll see where this goes. My opponent's got the thing that summons an Unchained. And I presume this is the thing that pops an, un an Unchained to pop another card. That would be my guess. I'm going to allow this to almost save Ash Blossom. You never know. You might need an Ash Blossom. Uh, you bell. You bell. Fascinating. Okay. That's cool. Uh. Hmm. I probably should have put an perm here. Let me think about this. Do I even want to? You know what? Let's just let's just let that through and see where this goes. You got the old school. You bell. That's cool and all. But uh, it doesn't do anything, and in the end phase, he has to. Tribute something, otherwise this goes away. So, are you going to do that? I assume you're going to do that. Yeah? Okay. Fascinating. I'm, okay, we, we are playing through a pretty dead hand. But I'm, I'm curious just to see where this guy goes. In playing Unchained You Bell, which is a future episode of The 100 Days, surprisingly enough. It's like in the 20s. And... Okay. Okay, I can see that. Oh, Ruha pops you bell, you bell summons. Looks fair incarnate. Uh, but I'm gonna say no. I'm, I'm not gonna just let my opponent willy nilly start summoning in terrifying dragon mamas. Well, that's not gonna happen. What is going to happen is he's gonna summon another one of these. And. Uh, All right, I guess I should interrupt at this point. As much as I would like to wait another minute. Oh, wait, no, I'm not allowed to play this in battle phase for whatever reason. Okay. You know what? Who, who needs more than one life point anyway? Who needs more than one life point? Life points are for squares. By a Rome Age is the worst deck. All right, what do we got here? Homunculus. Oh, because you're fire, and you're both... Oh, I don't have a target. Oh, uh, that's not necessarily good. I knew I should have thrown in a copy of Garuru. But no, I had to be silly like that. You know, actually, hold on. A normal summon homunculus, the alchemical being, and I turn him into at least the dark attribute. So, this will summon an... Okay, here's the plan. Got a plan here. I got an idea. Here's the idea. Beat over Aruha. 
Aruha will summon another Unchained monster. Or not. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll do nothing of the sort. Let's just fuse then. We'll summon our Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, because my opponent decided not to summon anything. Might as well. All right. All right, we'll see where this goes from here. It's going to be a tricky one. I have a monster on the board. That's the important thing. But he's not bigger than this dude. And as well, I don't know what this trap card is. I, just, I don't know what this card is yet. We'll see. We're going to come back. Oh, hello. Hello, beautiful. I missed you. And you know what? We're going to go for our Alistair, who is invoking. And I'm going to make Perk Trio. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to bother with nothing else. I want to see Purgatory. I don't even care if that's enough points for game or whatever. Because either way, it should be. I'm going to make Purgatory. We haven't seen that boy. He is the best boy. He's like a Pokemon. I want to see him on the board. Alrighty. Well, a surprisingly... A surprisingly mellow match to see from the Unchained, to be honest. Uh, but that ought to be game. So, let's attack with our our uh, Starving Venom Dragon. And that should be game. Am I right? Yeah, that's exactly enough. That's perfect. So, there you go, folks. That is game against the Unchained. Surprisingly, uh, the hand I started with looked like such a brick. But we were able to out it somehow. Just smart playing. We didn't just auto-react to everything. And that was what really helped us to win. So, a good show, and I would say. The Invoke did things, and let's go ahead for the end screen, because really it's just going to be more of this song and dance. Alrighty, everybody, Pure Invoked surprisingly went 3-0. and was not expecting, I was expecting like 2-1 and or even 1-2, and because while well, Invoked is very simple, very effective, it is pretty uh, dated to just play only Invoked, but I'm, I'm glad to see that Grandpa's Yu-Gi-Oh deck Still has some bite to it. We we don't even need all these like super board builders or element sabers to fill up the graveyard for different fusion materials and things. We were able to do it with just what we had. I mean, it worked pretty good. We had some nice back and forth duels, and they were pretty quick duels, but it was still still nice to see that Invoker Boy can do his thing. Uh thanks big to the rock for destroying trap tricks. And we were able to summon not everybody, sadly, but you know, Mechaba did his thing. Magalanico, we never, you never see this one anymore, so it's nice to see you. Agodis was useful. Parkatrio did a thing. We never got to see so Kokaitis or Raijin, sadly, but such things happen. It's a toolbox for a reason. Sometimes you use your tools, sometimes you didn't use them for another day. And today we didn't need our Kokaitis or our Raijin or Elysium for that matter. So, is what is. But anyway, everybody, thank you very much for watching today's episode. If you did enjoy it, Smack the like button to let me know that you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to help the channel grow and get us away from making dog shorts because I think it's messing with the algorithm a little too much. As much as people like to see my dog, and I love my dog, he's, he's messing with Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And tomorrow, pretty basic deck as well. I haven't figured out anything new to do with it, is uh, UAs. It's, it's pretty basic UAs, but we'll see how it goes. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Be sure to tune in next time, and until then, y'all stay safe, stay happy, and you have a good one. Take care.